Hello everyone and welcome back to another Code and Chat with Zach. Today we're going to use the Cisco Packet Tracer to configure a simple RIP version 2 network. Let's go ahead and get started. First let's drag out two routers and two end devices. Okay, the first thing we need to do is connect these. So we will do a cable crossover from here, oops, from 0 to 0, 0, likewise from here to here. And now we need to set these up for serial connections. And we do that by going to the physical device view, turning it off, and grab the WIC1T and install that. Okay. Great, now we can use the automatically choose, go from here to here, and we get our serial connection. All right, the next thing we need to do is set up the addressing scheme. And for that, we're going to do three networks. Uh, we will make this one 92.168.10.0.0. network. This one 192.168. 20.0 network and here we'll use 172.16.1.0 network. Alright, great. Now we can go ahead and start to configure our devices. So let's go ahead and start right here at our desktop. Go to desktop, IP configuration, and we are going to make this 192.168.10.2. We'll save dot one for the uh, gateway right here which is this F00. Our mask will leave it 255.255.0 which is a slash uh, 24, slider 24 and go ahead and set that default. Do the same thing over here. This would be 192.168.20.2 and 192.168.20.1 for our gateway uh, right here. All right, great. Now let's go ahead and get into the CLI. We'll do that by configuring our router or clicking on our router. Go to CLI, type in for no and hit enter twice, enable, and then config T to get us into global config mode. So, first thing we need to do is configure this with an IP address. We'll do that with int f0 slash 0 IP address 192.168.10.1 and our mask remember was 255.255.255.0. Next we do a no shut. That brings that state to up and now we can do our serial connection back out one time interface or INTS now notice this is 0 slash 0 slash 0 IP address 172.116.1.1 and here we will use a slash 30 or 255 255 255 252 giving us two usable addresses do a no shut and exit out one time. Great. Now let's go over here and configure this one. Again, we say no or in and then enable en config t interface f0 slash 0 IP address of 192.168.20.1 and our network mask of 255, 255, 255, 0. Do a no shut. And now we can back out one time. And now we will configure this serial. Now notice the other side has the clock rate, so we will need to go set that here in just a moment. And so we'll do int s000. IP address 172.16 and 
Remember 255, 255, 255, 252. No shut. Exit out one time. And now we should have green lights everywhere. Let's go ahead and set this clock rate since we forgot. We do that just by going back into our int s0 slash 0 slash 0. All right, and so we do that by saying clock rate, and we'll do 64,000. Okay, back out at one time. All right, great. So now we can go ahead and test our ping using the PDU from there to there, successful, good. From here to here, successful. Now let's go from device to device, and notice it failed. Now let's go ahead and take a better look at what's going on. We can do that by going into the command prompt, type ping 192.168.20.2, and notice that the destination host is unreachable. Now there are a couple of ways to get around this. One would be to configure this with a static route, and you can see uh, previous videos for that. Or today we're going to go ahead and use RIP version 2. So to do that, we'll go back into router, our first router, and make sure that you are in config mode. And we will type in network. Oh, no, we won't. We will type in router RIP version 2. And now we're in router config network. And now we need to give the network on each side of this router. So that's the 192.168.10.0. Notice there's no network mask here. And then network 172.16.1.0. Close that and go to this one. Alrighty, and we will again do router rip version 2 network now we need these two networks and that would be 192.168.20.0 and network 172.16 and 1.0 great we can go ahead and close that real quick now let's try to run a ping across it. Let's delete that. Notice that it's successful. We go the other way. <coughs> Great, we have successfully configured RIP version 2. One last thing, we need to go in here and go ahead and hit end and then copy run start and yes we want to save that there that just saves our router configuration so when we turn it off and again we'll go over here end copy run start yes all right well we now have configured rip version 2 on a simple network uh, if you have any questions be sure and leave them in the comments Otherwise, if you like this video, like it and subscribe. Thank you very much and happy coding.